informative interview with Telesur English lawyers for Venezuelan diplomat Alex Saab, detained and charged in the United States, explain the details of the case. David Rivkin, a partner of Baker Hostetler's law firm and a lawyer for Saab, explained the unlawful nature of the case, given Alex Saab's status as a special envoy. The situation in the United States in Alex Saab's case is as follows. We are in a court of appeals specifically in the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals that presides over district courts in Florida and several other states. And we are arguing in favor of Alex Saab's status as a special envoy from Venezuela to Iran. Under both international law and U.S. domestic law, special envoys are entitled to full diplomatic and liability, which means that he cannot be subjected to any form of civil or criminal process. He cannot be punished. He cannot be subjected to trial. He cannot be molested in any way. And given the state of the law in this area, we're optimistic that we will carry the day. And the lawyer for Alex Saab stressed that his defense is arguing that the United States cannot proceed against him on any charge, given his diplomatic status. I'd be glad to confirm that. Um, by virtue of his full diplomatic and viability, um, the United States cannot proceed against him on any charge, including the one charge that remains from his indictment. Full diplomatic and viability, I think it's important for your listeners to appreciate that, means precisely that. Viability from any form of coercive measures of whatever nature, no matter what the charge may be. And David Rifkin, lawyer to Alex Saab, noted the unlawful actions by the authorities of Cape Verde on detaining and extraditing the Venezuelan diplomat to the United States. They were violating uh, both their uh, obligations, uh, Cabo Verde as, uh, as a country that uh, has ratified the relevant international treaties. They are violating international law. They're also violating Cabo Verde law. They had absolutely no right to detain him. He had no right to extradite him, and the United States had no right to seek his extradition. So there have been a lot of uh, unlawful uh, actions that have taken place so far, and what we're working on now is to finally get to the point where those wrongs, those unlawful actions would be remedied, and Alex Saab would be set free to continue his diplomatic mission. And Nancy Hollander, a partner at Friedman Boyd Hollander Law Firm and serving as an expert for Alex Saab, underlined the political nature of the case and the difficulties in securing a fair trial. We will work very hard to uh, ensure to the extent we can that he will receive a fair trial, but it will be very difficult. This is a political case. Uh, there is no doubt about it. Uh, Alex Saab was taken off an airplane that um, dragged off an airplane essentially in Cape Verde. He was on his way to Iran um, as a special envoy because he needed medicines for, Venez for Venezuela that it could not get because of the sanctions imposed upon it by uh, President Trump. The United States is the, uh, or was, the largest importer of Venezuelan oil. And when the United States stopped importing Venezuelan oil, uh, everything else fell apart. Venezuela could not provide for its people. And this, this is why Alex had to go to Iran to get medicines for, him, for the country. Now, whether he can get a fair trial in the United States, um, it is problematic because uh, he's, in, he's in Miami. Um, Miami jurors are known to be hostile um, to Cubans and Venezuelans, and um, it will be very difficult, but we will do everything we can uh, for him if the case gets back to the district court. At this point, the district court is not allowed to proceed, as David explained, because the case is in the 11th Circuit. And we have more stories coming up after this final short break. Stay with us.